Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Nature is important to us, except we have no idea what it means. The more we learn, the less we know. We are doing things. What are we doing? Yeah, I wonder myself. Let me measure this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty meters is all that I have left of a thousand five hundred meters of drop line. The rest have been installed and uh, now I'm tired, especially my hands, with uh, almost 2,000 emitters with spaghetti on them. But uh, we are delighted we are happy it's going to save us a lot of time and water so maybe we can even say goodbye to this hose pipe but we use that for all the newly planted uh, seeds and plants in the vegetable garden this uh, nisporo Look what gave us a lot of fruit. We had that every day and also we made some chutney and some jam. And on this one I have four emitters. One, two, three and four. These plants have been severely neglected for eight years when there was nobody here on this farm. So it had four stems and now it has two. So I will stick with that. We are happy to have a tree that is producing fruit. This plum I have also pruned heavily, now it looks like a tree. I pruned it over the two-year period, but not a single fruit, still in shock. That's okay, take your time, buddy. This pomegranate is beyond itself. It is under... This is the gutter from the water, from the roof, falls here and it runs straight. Actually, I had a, have a trough here, all the way to the other side, filled with manure. So it fill, first fills up this uh, trough and then uh, all the water is available to this pomegranate. It also had lots of stems. It's still producing a lot of water shoots. Beautiful. Here I also have four emitters, uh, almost a meter away on each side. And then the fig. I pruned it so that it's quite high, this tree, so that the uh, branches go low. And as soon as the fruit is off, it actually goes up by itself. It's another prune. It had four stems as well.
and this lemon tree it is just slowly starting to grow again this one is just the rootstock that is growing this is a pear and uh, it had some fruit, I cannot find it now. Anyway, these were the trees that were on the property planted eight years ago, but severely neglected. I mean, this is now an almond we planted two years ago. It's quite tricky to uh, do the irrigation on uh, a garden because uh, first of all we placed it amongst this old trees that we had on the in the garden area and then uh, we also had to avoid the Bermuda grass and we have swales so on a swale is pretty straightforward follow the swale but uh, when you get into this now we have to negotiate to have some horizontal uh, spaghetti All these onions will come out soon, so we don't need to water those. Potatoes we are taking out daily. And then the cabbage and broccoli coming out. Also the uh, garlic. A lot of new plants are coming up, beans. Some more beans. We now go from emitter to emitter to see if it does what it is supposed to do. And uh, I think we will do that several times and then we will be confident that it's working and then we can relax. We are in May in the quince, but they only ripe in November. So uh, they take their time. I have removed this plastic sheeting from the uh, culvert, from the eastern culvert gabions. Uh, it is disintegrating, it's not UV protected, so it will go into the rubbish bin. And uh, this vine is doing the vine things. A lot and lot of bunches. Right now it's flowering. Last year we had almost nothing because of the heat and the drought. Now I'm watering it and hopefully the summer will be cooler. I'm looking forward to 
some raisins. I have a lot of work to do to bury this uh, drip lines, especially in our walkways. I don't want somebody to trip over it and uh, either they hurt themselves and or my drip line is broken. This is the last of our cooler days and uh, soon we will be in the 30 degrees Celsius and more. These plants, our local flora, our weeds, they are here in the rainy season from October to May and then they disappear, they disintegrate. I have started to remove the sluice gate and some of the pipes. These ones I need some help because they are full of sand or there is some sand in them. So I look forward to do something here. It might not be the next project. But uh, when I do get here, I want to move this rock. I thought with my little excavator, but I doubt it. The next step is to tie it to a tree with a ratchet, a winch and pull it into this sandy area here and then I can start working on a canal from Luna up to the swale, open canal that will save me a lot of trouble these pipes hopefully I will not have to use them in the same spot they can find a new purpose and uh, our oyster mushroom cemetery will have to wait until the rainy season to see if something some of the spores will germinate and we have more oysters. Only in three different locations I used teas and uh, I think it's good. I don't want them all over the place. So I got away with just tapping into the uh, main supply line with colors here in the eastern side of the creek the shady side afternoon shade we have a fig tree and there is no irrigation it's one of a few. There are seven eucalyptus nitens that have no irrigation that we will hand water. And uh, then a few trees, uh, a loquat and a jacaranda that we have to hand water, but that's okay. 
instead of a thousand five hundred trees being hand watered, ten of them is not too bad. I wonder what will happen to all the herbs, the mint and the sage and then also willows that we planted all along the riverbed. Soon even these mints will complain. But uh, they must just complain, it's okay. Creek is dry, some humidity in a few spaces. Till next time, goodbye.